What's an American problem you're too European to understand? You have $4.50 in your pocket. The fancy drink is advertised at $3. Carrot 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 99 point. Do you have enough money to buy it? Dunno. Registering to vote. As a Canadian, you're automatically enrolled when you turn 18 and get a notice where your polling station will be for every election. Here is one I can't understand. Strong violence on TV. No one bats an eye. Nipple slip. Everybody loses their minds. Australian here. The TV ads for prescription medication always gets me. Like really specific medication too. Not just a new over the counter painkiller. I think it are as good to research medication, if you have a condition, to be informed about your options. But it are so bizarre to see ads for it in between Property Brothers episodes and ads for Taco Bell. Expensive required textbooks that you have to buy to take a university class. Why tipping is considered part of some owns paycheck. Adder ask your doctor about this drug or ads. American here. When I was studying in the UK I had to send some financial documents back to the US. The only way these documents were considered valid was if the original was mailed in. Or if I faxed a copy. When I asked the printing office if they could fax it for me, they looked at me like I was an alien and said the school hadn't owned a fax machines for like a decade. Then they asked me if I still use a VCR. People not using all of their annual leave, over no RT or no days, and you have so few. I get 9 weeks and I still feel deprived. Privatized prison system. Edit, I want to clarify that I'm an American. Former military member, army infantry, did some time in Germany and got knowledge on how their system works. It feels like the United States creates laws out of thin air, so you can continuously break a law and have a constant chance of seeing a jail see for the slightest thing every day. When you add in police aggression into the mix you pretty much flip a coin whenever you get pulled over, depending on how good the cop is. Honest police will give respect and in return receive and have cooperation. Police on power trips. Well we all have seen some form of how bad that can go. Being from New Orleans, Louisiana, which houses the most inmates in the union, you feel not only a constant threat to protect yourself from criminals, but also from the law. With lawmen not in check it almost feels like they want you to end up in jail for a broken tail light. New Orleans prisons are no fucking joke. It is a real problem. Everywhere from big city to small town USA and I believe is fueled by a privatized prison system. I got a kick out if reading these comments, I'm American. But by the end I was reading them to figure out where I want to move to. I am an American, but I have a friend who is Italian from Italy. She does not understand how sweet everything is including pasta sauce and bread. And she does not understand our obsession with bragging about our Uraritago. Uh, uh, she says if you are born in American you are American. Not Greek slash Italian slash German on your mom's side. Dutch slash English slash Scottish on your dad's side. Edit. Wow. I did not expect so many responses. Some of you are feeling a little salty with the implication that you should not feel proud of your heritage. First of all. This was not my thought. I was repeating something that was said to me by a friend in a response to a question posed by Opus. It does not necessarily reflect my opinions. Second of all I specified Italian from Italy vs an Italian American, so you could understand that she is an immigrant. First generation Italian. She came here when she was 28 years old and still considers herself to be Italian. Third of all she was referring, I believe, to people whose relative came from other country way before they were born. And Thea have never been to country. Donna it speak the language. Donna it have any culture from that country. And so it goes. Why people censor swears that are totally obvious. While watching Chelsea vs Manchester United yesterday on NBCSN. During halftime there was a good recipe commercial where the guy is asking a woman if she would like to fill her prescription. He pulled up the phone and showed her that the same pill can cost from $10 to $90 depending on the area. And that good recipe can help her fill the prescription with the cheapest prices. Now someone please explain to me how in the ever loving fuck is it possible for a drug to cost 10x more depending on your location? Question mark? 
Don't they have constant prices like in the rest of the civilized world? Question mark? Edit. The answers to my inquiry are even more fucked up. What the fuck America? Question mark? Y'all are getting robbed in broad daylight. I've never understood the tipping culture in the US. As an Aussie, tipping just isn't really a thing. Except like, paying $10 for a drink that costs $9. 20 and telling the bartender to keep the change. And that's basically it. Lobbying. I never understand how every politician on both sides gets away with legalized bribery and everyone just accepts it. I understand the need for specialist interest groups to promote their ideas, but to be allowed to visibly finance a politician and rate their friendliness to your cause with no repercussions is insane to me. It's bribery no matter how you dress it up. Tipping. Just pay your staff. Tips should be a bonus not a base. I don't know if this is considered a problem for Americans but it sure as hell was a problem slash inconvenience for me while I was there. Unreasonably high water level in the toilets like. Holy shit my balls were almost touching the water. Fuck that. How much do I tip? 10%? 15%? Do I tip everywhere? Why I snow at the tax included? Why does the tip vary? Why are the waiters so underpaid? Edit. Also why do you have to do your tax bill? You could literally go to prison, but it is like a guessing game from what I heard. I'm too European to understand how swearing and curse words are such a big deal in movies and songs. But violence and guns are taken with a grain of salt. Caring about other people's food. As a pole I don't care how. Do you like your peerage? Busy. Car tax. Biggest. Etc. But damn me, if I ask in the US for a well done steak. Or if I order a Hawaiian pizza. How strongly Americans feel about the flag. I saw a photographer get torn to pieces online because someone was standing on the tiniest bit of the flag and people went fucking apeshit. In the UK most people probably cold know its spot if the union flag was round the wrong way. Edit just in case you were wondering which way round the union flag goes. In the half of the flag nearest the flagpole. The wider diagonal white stripe must be above the red diagonal stripe. As Scotland's St Andrew's Cross takes precedence over Ireland Street. Patrick's Cross. It is most improper to fly the flag upside down. But nothing people would lose their shit over. It would just be some knobhead like me horrid pointed out. Also thanks for the gold. With no intent to be rude. But I can't understand how so many people eat themselves to the point of needing a mobility scooter or the point of being bedbound. I live in Sweden and I believe that the absolutely heaviest person I've ever seen in 30 years was about 400 pounds. The amount of homeless people and the amount of homeless mental patients. Time to sort by controversial and eat some popcorn. Having to remember that cars can turn on a red light. I know this is a thing. I've known this for 10 years. I still forget and nearly die every time I need to cross a road when I'm in the US. Eater, I have learned many things in this comment thread, and am formally changing my answer to traffic laws varying between states. The red light turn thing still terrifies me though. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I never understood four things in us. Healthcare, or mostly health don't care. Prices are written on goods without taxes. Toilets that looks like small lake. Shower that have only one knob to set intensity and temperature of water. How your credit score system works. I will never understand why using a debit card. So only spending money you actually have. Doesn't have a positive effect on your CS. But paying your credit card every month has. Virtually no vacation. Student debt. I pay 20 slash semester tuition in Austria. The idolization of politicians. They are public servants. Similar to a courthouse clerk or a city hall coordinator. They are not rock stars. You don't need to scream their name. Buy their merch. Fully commit your life to them and believe everything they say. Just treat them like public servants. Sure, they get power and position. But hold them accountable when they abuse it. Don't let corporations and politicians take over. The political system is created by the people. For the people. It just boggles the mind. Nipples, or in general the hypersexualization of nudity. Limited sick days. You Americans eat like you've got free healthcare. 
Edit. OMG I never expected this to blow up lol. Thanks for the silver kind stranger. Edit. And thank for the I'm deceased award. Why insulin is so expensive? Even with an insurance. Probably not really European but Finnish. Mems about forgetting to connect your phone to Wi-Fi. Here we have unlimited internet and it's working almost everywhere. Edit. Also the unlimited mobile data costs a like 30 in month. Been watching Sons of Anarchy on Netflix and it reminded me of something really odd about US telly. You can show people being brutally murdered, tortured, raped, overdose on drugs, hint at child sex abuse, and have a story arc start with a school shooting. Can't say fuck though. What's that about? American here. I lost a filling a few months ago. The dentist says he won't do any work until I get a deep clean. But my insurance will not pay for a deep clean which costs about 1800 US dollars. I can't afford that. So I have to go with this huge hole in my teeth until my jaw gets infected. Once that happens, it becomes a life threatening illness that my insurance will cover. Is this anything to which you Europeans can relate? Edit. A deep clean is not the same as a regular cleaning. A. Regular cleaning would have been about dollar sign 200 dollar sign 250 USD and is strangely covered by my insurance. A deep clean is under the gums and will involve several shots of Novocaine. I have gotten second and third opinions and nobody wants to do work without that deep clean first. It's about liability. Nobody wants to be sued. Not European but driving manual cars. Where I'm from. Most people learn stick at 16 18. Seriously, please like and subscribe and comment something nice for your favorite reddit slave. The lack of maternity rights and maternity leave. Edit. Here are the UK employment rights for comparison https slash slash www acus org uk slash your maternity lever pay and other rights. Edit 2. Getting a lot of angry men asking about paternity rights. How about campaign for them if you want them. But maternity leave is primarily for the mother to recover from pregnancy and birth and bond with the infant. I'm all for both parents having rights, but the primary reason for maternity leave is for the mother to recover. Edit 3. From the comments. UK paternity and shared parental leave rights. HTTPS. Archive. Acus. Org. UK slash index. Aspects. ARTICLEIDE equals 4911.